Hey everybody! Well, this is slightly awkward. I think it's a good idea that I talk about um, my relationship with food and what I've been doing recently in terms of eating and how stuff affects that. I kind of have a weird relationship with food. I am big, very big. Fat is the word I would use, but I know that makes some people uncomfortable, so I always hesitate to go straight to it. But fat is the word I would use. Fat is the accurate descriptor. This lemon is yellow. I am fat. You see where I'm going. I don't know why. Yes, I eat a lot. Um, I've been fat since I was a kid. Uh, but I had a bad back injury when I was seven. I wonder if that's got something to do with it. I was very badly teased. I was very ill when I was a little child. Um, I was very badly bullied. Maybe that's got something to do with it, blah, 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 whatever. Now I'm 33 and we've got to deal with life as it is. It's a difficult thing because as soon as I put restrictions on myself, I freak out and I'm like, oh my God, I can't have that thing. And then all I do is think about that thing for days and days and days and years. Um, and I find that difficult. Equally, I have polycystic ovaries, um, which makes it very difficult to lose weight. I have tried diets and they don't, diets are hard. And if they don't give you results pretty quickly, they're very demotivating. Uh, I went on the same diet as my mum and my sister once and they both lost a shit ton of weight in the first couple of weeks and I lost half a pound, which is negligible. Now, aside from all of that, actually um, the research has shown that diets don't work long term. Um, even things like Weight Watchers and Slimming World, they're kind of bollocks. They're a short-term proposition. Um, there's a lot of research on this. Um, I will try and find some stuff and link to it below, but basically diets are bunk um, and bollocks. That is not to say you shouldn't try and be healthy. And where I want to get to is to a state where I feel like I can use my body better. Like I can walk up a massive hill and not feel like I'm dying. Um, that's what I would like. Um, when I was younger, I used to dance, I used to do ballet, and I loved the feel of using my body. Yeah, that's where I want to get to. It's not about size, it's not about weight. It's not massively about aesthetics for me anymore, because actually, I kind of like how I look. Shh, dirty little secret. Um, but it's about how I feel. And while I don't feel bad, I know I can feel better, and I would like to. Also, there's an ethical component here. We totally destroy the planet by just living on it. That's a thing. Um, if you want to make no impact on the planet, you will have to die. Um, and then maybe you're like nourishing the soil, but that's not gonna make up for all the damage you did while you were here. That's a thing, we do that. Um, even if you live in the most natural, natural way possible. But for me, ethics means as little impact as we can. Um, and I do think the answer to that is plant-based eating rather than meat and dairy and eggs. Um, even if you're you know, eating free range, organic, ethical meat and eggs. And I mean, I debate whether there can be such a thing as ethical dairy. Um, but these are all the thoughts going around in my brain, like all the time. So there's that element, and then there's the element where if I restrict, I freak out and I'll probably go and eat like a tub of ice cream or something. I know, I know, rational, I am not. So what I've settled on is trying to make ethical choices more often than not. If I try and keep on that side of the balance, I don't freak out and actually, I make ethical choices more and more often. It's like a habit. I've got a vegan food habit. Oh no! Eating vegan makes me feel good psychologically because I think it's more ethical. Eating vegan food also makes me feel good physically because I just don't digest some things very well. Moving on. Um, so it would be obvious to do that all the time, but also psychologically, like all of us, I'm a bit of a mess and I've got my stuff. And part of that stuff is, I don't want to freak out. 
maybe um, down the line, because it makes me feel so much better, I will be full-time plant-based. But at the moment, small steps, eh? Small steps. So those who have been watching our videos and just know us from life, so anyone watching these videos, um, knows that last year, last September, our house got flooded. Um, they're doing some work next to our house. They're building a road and they burst the water main or something. I don't know exactly what happened, but what I do know is that our house had like two foot of water in it. Um, poor Ben was here on his own. I was in Ireland at, on a spiritual pilgrimage. And just before I went on that pilgrimage and in the couple of months leading up to it, I'd been making good choices. I'd been getting on top of my weird relationship with food and exercise and my body and weirdness. Uh, Bella and I are pagans and I've been going to sort of a druid group and meeting people and having ritual and giving those parts of myself an outlet, the creative parts of myself an outlet and I'd been doing a lot of self reflection as part of my sort of druid studies um, and yeah I found it really really helpful and it was sort of coming together then our house got flooded and it kind of fell apart um, not completely in Italy but you know we lived in a hotel for five weeks um, and then we lived in like a little apartment for over six weeks um, and we only moved back in Christmas Eve and if you go back to our vlogmas you'll see all of that it was it was a fucking shit show, mate. Um, so that was that. And it's really only in the last few weeks that I've started to come back into myself, really, in my house. It took a while, and I'm only just really coming back into myself. And I'm starting to feel those feelings again, where I can start to think, I don't need to do that, because do you know what? I don't really want that right now and maybe I do want it later or actually I want this because I know that won't make me feel bad and actually I'll feel good after eating that whereas if I eat that it'll be delicious but then I know I'll feel shitty afterwards in various different ways. So that's really interesting to me that I'm sort of discovering that. The reason I'm saying all this is because if you watch our vlogs you will see that I am eating mostly vegan food. But every now and again, non-vegan food is going to pop up. Now at the moment, I'm doing um, almost entirely vegan um, from, it was from Imolk, which is the beginning of February, to the Spring Equinox. So those are festivals that I celebrate and that, that's how it lines up for me. And it sort of started being a Lent-ish thing, but now it's more like a spring refresh for me. Um, but I'm not going to stop after the equinox now. I'm not going to be 100% vegan. Um, oh, I haven't been already. As you saw, I had um, some meat and cheese on Ben's birthday because we were eating dinner together. It was a celebratory thing. That's what we did. Um, and, you know, that's sort of the way that's going to continue. I'm going to eat plant-based the majority of the time. Uh, I'm going to allow myself like 80% of my meals plant-based 20% not plant-based, and I suspect I'll be under the 20%, but I need to give myself that freedom so that it's a choice. So that every time I sit down, I'm not saying I'm sitting down and I am eating vegan because I am vegan and that is the thing I do. I'm gonna sit down and go, today I'm going to eat a vegan meal. And then it's a conscious choice every time, and it's up to me every time. Um, and, you know, We'll see how that goes. But the reason I wanted to say this is that you'll see me eat and prepare vegan foods. And I love making vegan food. It's interesting. It's like kitchen science sometimes. You're making weird fake meat to bread things with gluten. It's super exciting. Um, but I have a lot of recipes using meat and dairy, which I'll use for you know high days and holidays. Um, and you'll see me doing those as well. So... I don't want anyone looking at me thinking I'm pretending to be vegan. I'm not. I'm not labelling myself. I want to eat more plant-based than not. That's my aim. And as long as I achieve that, I am happy. Now, people have opinions about other people's eating habits. People have opinions about other people's bodies. People have opinions about other people's ethical 
choices. And you know what? Fuck your opinion. This is my body, my eating, my ethical choices. You can have your opinion about it, but I don't have to give a shit about it. Having said that, most people are really nice and are really supportive and really sweet. There's some really good um, channels on YouTube that you can follow if you want good vegan recipes. Uh, there's Hot For Food, um, they have a blog and their, their stuff is brilliant. Uh, there's Unnatural Vegan who is great at the science behind how to eat vegan um, and that's been really helpful to me to make sure that I'm, you know, staying as plant-based as possible by making sure I eat protein and all sorts of different things. Um, there's some awful, really toxic YouTubes out there. You'll find them if you want to. I've even got some fucking kale chips. Who even am I? The fuck is this? I hope that was at least a bit interesting, not boring, and gave you an idea as to the way I'm eating at the moment, um, if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions about it, please put them below. If you have any criticisms, well, if you're the sort of person that wants to put criticisms below, you're going to do that anyway without me inviting, aren't you? So go for your life, do what you want to do. Um, my tip is, before you type, just take a moment to think. <laughs> do you really need to say this? And does the person you're saying it to really need to hear it? And if you think that they do, fine, go ahead, because that's who you are. But there's so many things I think online that I don't say, because, you know, I'm a decent fucking person. I even had shit written down for this. I mean, I didn't say most of it, and most of what I said wasn't in here, but irrelevant. Irrelevant.